Hello guys, welcome to Rebersoft. In this video, we are going to talk about how to reduce size of your PDF using command line tool in Linux. Ghost script is the command line tool which we are going to use today. It's a great tool which can be used to reduce size of any PDF file on your system only. As you might be familiar of various sites which can convert or reduce size of your PDFs. Just google reduce PDF size and there will be hundreds of websites available out there which can do it for you. But there is a risk out there like you are supposed to upload your PDF files which may contain some private information on their servers they will process it and return it back to you and there is some sort of reliability issue uh, on the servers like um, they might save your private information or something like that uh, whatsoever let's get started with the video first of all you are supposed to install ghost script and for all that I have this instruction this set of instructions uh, okay yeah here we go to install first of all you are supposed to type sudo apt install ghost script okay now type the password uh, since it's already installed in my system it says ghost script is already in the newest version and it will download and install for you if you have not it installed on your system and after that you're supposed to move to the location where your pdf files are located as you can see i have downloaded a few pdf files this one is la 7 and uh, its notes provided by my linear algebra professor during my seventh semester i'm going to try this compressor on that pdf file it's 11.2 mb in size so what i'm going to do here is move to that location where it is located right now it's in downloads so i'll move it to downloads or maybe you can try this as well just right click on in the location where your pdf is available and click on open in terminal and it will automatically open in the same location after that you're supposed to type this command i'll recommend you to copy and paste this one i'll provide it in the description box below it's using okay wait a minute yeah cool now just paste it and okay obviously it will give me some errors uh, because my file uh, that I'm supposed to compress is not input PDF dot PDF file dot PDF uh, it should you are supposed to replace this last name with the file you are willing to uh, convert okay this is some dummy file that have been created okay this is LA7SM so I'll type okay. uh, LA and then after uh, press tab to let it auto complete and then after hit enter and this s output file equals to compress.pdf is the name of the uh, uh, resultant output that is resultant pdf file uh, so it should be saved by compress.pdf it's still getting compre uh, compressed its time may depend on the size of the pdf file okay so finally it's compressed originally it was of 11.2 megabytes and now after compressing it's of 7.8 megabytes so uh, this tool comes with a uh, lots of options as well like uh, for this PDF settings you can set it to prepress which will give higher quality output like 300 dpi and obviously it will be of bigger size which is default and even in this case and you can set it to ebook for medium quality output for screen for lower quality output i'll show you a uh, result of all of these three just I'll try on the same PDF file just this time I'll set s output equals to uh, ebook ebook compress.pdf and PDF settings equals to ebook ebook and then after hit enter uh, it may again take some time 
it's the file has been generated but still it's of zero bytes because it's being converted okay yeah it's converted now now as you can see compressed normal compression was 7.8 mb and this ebook version is 7.7 mb like very less of difference it depends on the quality of the pdf or whatever you are using now let's try this screen version okay so i'll say screen screen compress.pdf save it as screen compress.pdf and settings okay where is it come on settings equals to Uh, screen and just hint in it have started to compress it may take some time once again and I remember this tool basically cannot compress all the PDF files because some of those are already optimized and uh, having very less size so using this tool in that case may increase its size only so this is the screen compress.pdf it's 2.6 mb very less size as compared to 11.2 mb and for the quality purpose i'll open those files this is 11.2 mb original file and this is screen compress 2.6 mb file i'll open them side by side As you can see there is very less difference but there is certainly a little bit of difference like deterioration in quality of the PDF files but still this tool can be used to reduce size of your PDF files on your own device only instead of going to web servers and uploading them and then after relying on them to delete your files after they are done <laughs> compressing those files. So guys hope this video helped you and please subscribe and like this video and consider sharing it among your friends to help them know about this great tool and our great channel thank you guys bye bye see you in the next video